Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Since we got all three moves in the last part, I shouldn't have any trouble clearing out Bad Magic Bayou for the most part. Except for one Jiggy. You're gonna end up having to come back here for a Jiggy after you unlock the final world of the game, actually. Because there's one Jiggy that you can't get without a particular transformation. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, I'm just telling you this for the sake of the walkthrough so you don't think that I'm gonna, that I actually miss something here on my first run through here, because, you know, I'm gonna have nine out of, nine out of ten jiggies here, and yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna end up, I mean, I'm going to climb this section here. Those uh, pink enemies there, they are the germuloids that I was talking about in the last part. Please tell me I got the perspective right, okay. <laughs> it just looked like it was attached to the side there, but it's actually attached to um, that right there. Anyway, we're going to shake down the Jiggies and Jumuloids down this area right now. See, there is a little cracked ground here. And wait, wait, maybe I should... No, wait, wait, that's too high. Dang perspective. Okay, shake them down. Now, the only way to kill these Jumuloids are to let them attach to you and then... Ugh, move around like crazy until they get off your back. And it's going to go step by step. Yeah. The last one is the Jiggy. Woo! Four down. Five more to go. Well, six, but as I said, I can only get nine of them at the time here. And these, uh, Bogfoot guys, they take a lot of hits. So you probably don't want to take the paths that they are at all that often. Uh, we got ourselves a little fighting game here. We're gonna see all the different types of Gruntlings right here. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be such a wimp. <laughs> so yeah, this little area here is a battle arena. We take on Gruntlings one at a time in progressive difficulty. You have the easiest one first, second easiest. In fact, they're all easy. <laughs> it's just that they take more hits per Gruntling. That was the brown one. Here is the gray one. Look how many hits this one takes. There we go. We're done. We get a Jiggy for that. Voila. Those enemies all react the same. It's just that they take more hits. Is there anything down here? I don't think so. Oh, geez, I'm gonna take a hit. <laughs> oh, I'm actually low on health. Please, perspective. Work in my favor here. Wait, maybe I should go... I'm saying wait a lot lately because there's so many split paths. I'm rather fuse at what I want to do. <laughs> what do you have to do here? All right, the fishing mini game. Sure. And it's not that easy, actually. <laughs> you know how to play this. We did this at the cliff farm. Only it's a little bit different. You gotta look out for the critters that will hurt you this time around. Do not get the crabs in more ways than one. Oh shoot! <laughs> it, oh, and I killed myself. <laughs> That's what the game over screen looks like. And if you click continue, you just end up right where you left off. Oh, I'm way back up here. Really? Well, I'm shortcutting my way down there. <laughs> I don't care if I take a hit. Here we go. Mini game. Yes, yes, please. Skip B button. Let's get fish. We have to get all the fish. Actually, there's more fish than there were sheep, so technically this one is easier than the last one, because it seemed like the sheep in the last one got more and more scarce as the game went on, like, because you had to collect all 12 sheep rather than just getting 12 sheep in general, so to speak, like there was only 12. You get what I'm saying here. On fish. Get in the buckets! I got this, I totally got this. In fact, I got more than what I needed. Yeah! Shiny paperweight! Who couldn't use a shiny paperweight? And now, I'm going to go around the swamp here. I don't think I can just, like, jump from platform to platform over there. Otherwise, I'd have to be swimming. The safe way is to go around this way. And I nearly cleared out this place, actually, for the most part. There's uh, another segment that's going to be pretty tricky that may very well give me another game over. 
Let's see what the Jinjo Oracle has to say about this. Now, oh, thanks for that hint. I was just telling people about that. Ah, people are not paying attention. <laughs> this game, I swear, I was running around. Uh, I don't really need anything over here, do I? In fact, I'm at full health, aren't I? Yeah. I'm gonna skip that, because that's it's risky when you're at full health. <laughs> So in here, we got the Vapor Scrubs. This is a rather dangerous area because it drains your health gradually due to this poisonous gas of death. And you want to go all the way around here while you get these honeycombs along the way. Just, oh shoot. Just follow the paths, follow the nose, even though you should probably be holding your <laughs> holding your breath here to get this. Let's take, take a hit there. Because otherwise it's going to knock you off while you're trying to make that gap. Oh shoot! Go through here quickly and safe! <laughs> That's all you have to do there. Just get the notes, get the jiggy, and I probably should get some health now. Oh, quack! Question mark! Yeah! <laughs> I got good reaction time, even if my commentary is not all there. Um, over here, we're going to be getting a new power. But not a new power, a new transformation. I just thought I would show you that bit of dialogue there. And anything in the trees? No? Okay. This is the last area that I'm going to be able to do here. And hey, Mumbo, how's it going? Banjo does. Banjo would like that. Hey. And with the power of Disco, once again! We will turn into a candle! The candle is probably one of the best transformations, actually. Ooh. And that's what we can use to get into that area, obviously. Because <laughs> I just checked that out before here and said it was too dark to get in and whatnot. Uh, you have, you can jump. Your jump height is about the same as Banjo's. In fact, it probably is the same as Banjo's. And you've got this move with the B button. It is pretty awesome. Oh, by the way, this is where the last Jiggy is that I can't get in the world until I get another transformation later. So just keep that panel in mind when you get to the fifth world and get the transformation for that. But as for now, let's go into the creepy corridors. Aha! Aha! This is where the last notes are. By the way, um, I guess I'll show you this. Any type of water is one hit kill to your transformed selves. Well, I guess I don't have to show that. <laughs> because I just said it. And that's the last Jinjo. So I'm going to have to go back over there later. But yeah, fall into the water as a mouse or a candle. You're doomed. One hit kill. We are making good progress here, and you can now kill those guys because they are fearful of your fire, and we got ourselves a pretty tough puzzle here. Okay, here's how this works. See the portrait on the wall? Like, you see that one's square, and you see the candles at each corner there. That tells you, on the mark on the floor, wherever you see this mark, which candles you should light. And if you don't do it properly, you're going to take damage. I don't know how you take damage, but you take damage. So you have the... They, they give you plenty of time to do this, but if you don't know what you're supposed to do here, you could be stuck for a while. So, okay, we got... Triangle there, you just light the one in the corner. You probably want to start with, um... The one that you have to light the most candles on. Which was the square here. Oh, wait. Oh, the star was light the most candles. Okay, so, star was... Um... Where was the star? <laughs> was it... Triangle? Light all star... Was I not paying attention here or something? Oh, there we go. Okay, light all four of these, and... A, well, when you start lighting one, the timer will start. And looking up on there, there's a jiggy, but that has no real indication of anything for some reason. Okay, that star, light all four... Wait, wait, the square was... These three. Okay, oh. Somehow that... Somehow that's not lighting the candle, okay. <laughs> and 
and over mm-hmm. here, that's the circle. The triangle is the upper left corner. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Light. Candle. There we go. What was... Uh, circle is upper left and bottom right. Mm-hmm. Bottom right. Upper left. And the Jiggy appears there. That is Jiggy number eight, if I'm counting correctly. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Uh, the counter or anything like that. Yep. Now, this is what I mean about uh, there being a Jiggy portrait up there. You would think that there would be something that you can get here. Because, you know, there's a Jiggy in indicator there. But, no, you can't. In fact, through my first playthrough here, I didn't know that. So, I ended up thinking that the tenth and final Jiggy of this world was... It had something to do with this portrait. Like, maybe I thought... I had to light the fireplace or something, or maybe those candles up there, and I was just having perspective issues, but no, there's nothing with that. So there's two Jiggy symbols in this room, but only one of them actually matters, and that's this one here, where the Jiggy appears. I don't really get that. I don't know why that was like that, but it, it confused me completely, and maybe that was the point, because they wanted to confuse you, and that's just what they do, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to untransform myself, change back to normal, or whatever you want to call it. Whoop. And come on, Mumbo. We don't have all day. Back to Bear and Bird. Woo! And there we go. I believe that the Jiggy back at the Jinjo Oracle there is the last Jiggy that I need, and I'm gonna have to run through this really quick. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Good thing that they have health strewn around, along the pff, along the way there. That's why I didn't want to do the uh, the jump before I took the damage, just before the jump, because I would have fell right in the swamp. And there we go. That's the last Jiggy that I can get at this moment in time. That's the next world we will be going to, Spiller's Harbor. Well, Grunty's is not the friendliest person, so it kind of kind of makes sense if you think about it. <laughs> uh, okay. I believe he already said that, so I'm going to uh, kind of like shortcut through the swamp. <laughs> or am I gonna have to go the long way around? Because if I tried to shortcut my way through there, I'd probably end up. Falling in the swamp, and wait, 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 before I leave, before I leave, just to make sure I got everything that I can. Yes, that looks good to me. Uh, since I have a lot more time left in this part than I thought I would have, maybe what I should do is fill out the rest of this part by going over to, um, Honey... That was weird. <laughs> Honey Bee's Hive, and then unlocking the next world. Or maybe I'm, maybe I'm just going to go over to the Hive for the sake of uh, just extending my health here, because then it'll show you where you need to go via a cutscene. I think that would be handy to have in its own part. And there we go. So 12 for the last one, and that'll be it. They, the uh, last four are in the last two worlds, so this will be your last life extension once you get back to here after getting those last two hollow honeycombs. And that's all you need to know for now. <laughs> so with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.